My name is Luke Miller. I'm the Director of Customer Success with Prenda, and I'm going to take just a couple minutes with you now to talk through our Code Club software. This is the Code Club software. As you'll see, it's web-based. People can access it from any modern web browser. We uh, prefer Chrome, but it would work on Firefox, Safari, uh, even Internet Explorer. Uh, so feel free to access it from anywhere. That means you don't have to download anything and kids can access it from home as well. The general format is a kid will make a profile on, at their first code club and they'll log in and they'll do the first couple levels and after they complete, the second level they will be awarded an avatar. As you can see I have an avatar over here on the left side of the screen. The rest of their code club experience they will do either workouts as you can see up here or missions as you can see up here. Um, as they complete workouts and missions they will unlock new clothing items that they can use to customize their avatar or they will unlock new uh, tools and items that they can use to add to their avatar. I'll show you. Over here on the gear page is where we keep an inventory of everything that's been unlocked so far. You can see on the left everything that I've unlocked from completing workouts and on the right everything I've unlocked from completing missions. Uh, over time I'll have this whole page filled with various clothing and tools uh, and to add it to my character I can just click on it and begin to mix and match and dial in a character that I think looks cool. We do this because it's a light gamification layer to the software. Now let's talk about what workouts and what missions are. Workouts are curriculum. Uh, this is where we lead the kids through a learning journey. Uh, it takes them from not knowing anything about coding whatsoever to being able to make websites video games, apps, animations, all that good stuff. Uh, Code Club is designed to be a go at your own pace experience and choose whatever you want to work on. We believe this is the most empowering type of learning environment possible, so we've designed the software to work in this way. As you can see on the workouts page, I have a, a bunch of stuff that's available to me now that I can jump in and start working on. Um, and there's a, a bunch more stuff that is not yet available to me uh, as well. Let's say I want to learn how to do CSS. I'm working on websites, I want to learn how to do CSS, so I go ahead and click in to this level, CSS1, and this is what the levels look like in uh, our software. Uh, it's really pretty simple. There's a title, there's a, a description of what the software is asking me to do, uh, in this case, this, is, this task is called CSS Makes It Pretty. The description or instructions are read this quick intro about CSS. Click on Style Sheet 2 in the demo and the other style sheets to see how CSS can change the look of a website. So I would just click this link, it opens up uh, another page, and this is where I'm actually supposed to do what it's asking me to do. Um, so I would go through the page, do what it's asking me to do, and when I'm done with that, the, the experience for the kids uh, would be that they raise their hand and the adult librarian or teacher or uh, facilitator would come over and verify that they have done this, and then they would click the done button, type in the secret code, and the kids can move on to the next task. Uh, and, and let's imagine that I've done this now for each of these tasks in CSS1, and as I sign off the last one, I unlock a new item or a new piece of clothing. I have this new belt that's added to my inventory and I can add that to my character with just a click. Now, missions are the other side of the software. This is the other thing that kids will do uh, when they're in Code Club. Missions are projects. Uh, we have a whole bunch of project outlines. They all have prerequisites assigned to them. So more become available as more missions are, or as more workouts are signed off. Uh, and the kids get to choose uh, a mission or a project that looks interesting to them. So I'm going to go ahead and click on just any one of them here. I'll do express yourself. And th this is what the project outlines or the mission outlines look like. There's a description at the top. Everything's kind of superhero oriented or themed in our software. Um, so you read the 
the description and that tells you why you're about to build what you're gonna build then you have a drop down menu you can choose to build this wherever you want you click that and it will open up a, a new page where you can begin to actually build the project and then there's a series of checkboxes these are the project requirements these are what I uh, need to be done for this project to be counted as complete uh, so as the the kids are making this project, I imagine that they'd come back and check off these checkboxes as they complete them. They can copy and paste their project link here. I'll just do google.com for now, just for example. And then they would raise their hand again, and you as the adult would come over, click the done button, you verify that they have completed all of these checkboxes, type in the secret code, and they get, in this case, a jetpack. Pretty cool. Those are the two main things that the kids will do in Code Club. They will either do workouts or missions. Workouts are where they learn new things. Missions are where they apply those things to building something real. Um, you've now seen home base, you've seen gear, you've seen workouts and missions. The last page that I will show you is friends. Friends is a, a page where it'll bring up a list of all the other kids who are in your Code Club. Uh, it'll show their avatar and how many uh, things they've unlocked so far. And if they've done any missions, it'll bring you to a page where you can actually go and play your friends' games. So all of these are links to uh, this, uh, whoever this is, all of these are links to that person's projects. So if there's a game that they made somewhere, I can go and play it. If there's an animation, I can go watch it. If there's a website, I can go look at it. Um, all that's here in the friends tab. It's a way that we build in collaboration and community into our software. So that is the software that we're using to run Code Clubs. That's the software we're using to change lives all across the country. Uh, thanks for watching this video.